a dating quiz is the best distraction from the disaster you've made of your life. But hey, what do I know? You're the one in charge here, Jala. You'd better answer honestly, though. You can't keep any secrets from me. If people are gonna stare, it should be for the right reasons. No way I'd go on a second date. Oh sure, what's the point of a romantic partner if they're not a status symbol? Free spirit. So what if I don't show up sometimes? Exactly. Being fun is way more important than being reliable. Reliable's boring. Avoid them for a bit if I didn't feel the same way. It'd be easier for both of us. Why doesn't this quiz have any sane answers? Like, I don't know, say something? But saying something's what got us into this situation in the first place. This is why your romantic life is a trash fire. Probably had at least three backup plans, so yeah, no biggie. Speaking of plans, holy hell! Are you ever planning to call me back, Jala? I haven't heard your voice in six months. Your sister's such a bore. <laughs> Good thing you have me instead. You're the same person. We're really not. You imagined me with her face, but I'm the voice inside your head. I know things about you she could never begin to understand. We're way closer than sisters, Jala. I don't want to be tied down. Is that really freedom, Jala? Or are you just drifting? It's my life, my choice. Yes, sweetie, it is your choice. So why haven't you made it? What if I make the wrong one? Again. Ouch. Still think it's a good idea to go home? They all hate you, Jala. Can you blame them? Shut up. Ugh, fine. Guess I'll leave you to skate away your feelings. That's none of your business. Just answer the question, Jala. Tyler? Don't I deserve an answer? Isn't that why you're on a bus back home? Because you owe me an answer? Yeah. You're right. Did you love me, Jala? I'm not really sure I know what love is. <laughs> That's the first honest thing you've said to me in years. I loved you, Jala. But you already knew that. You broke my heart. Before the results, why don't we just ask your exes what they think of you? Should be illuminating. <laughs> Self-absorbed. 
Is it because you're a rebel? Or because you don't think you can live up to them? Timber Hills, our hometown. I still don't get why we're back here. You're like a serial killer driven to return to the scene of the crime. I left things messy, but I didn't actually murder anyone. Just your parents, hopes and dreams. I know. Come to think of it, you kinda died here. The person you were supposed to be did, anyway. Coming back here was a mistake. I have a lot of practice making mistakes. Maybe I'm getting good at them. You're being selfish, as usual. I don't know why I even bother trying to help you. You're hopeless. We can't hang out at the diner all night. You need to call someone to give you a ride home. Who's it gonna be? I could call home and hope that dad picks up instead of mom. It's after 10 p.m. What if you give dad a heart attack? Mom's had him on a low cholesterol diet since we were kids. You really wanna test that. You know he sneaks cashew nuts from the cupboard when she's not looking. Aruni's probably still up. That's gonna go well. You haven't called her in months. Why would you? You have me to talk to instead. I'm clearly the superior version. But crucially, you can't drive a car. Wow. Way to rub it in. You think I like only existing in your head? <sighs> Maybe I should just call Tyler and get it over with. I mean, yes, Tyler's your ex-bestie. But she's also your ex. The ex. And given the way you ended things, she probably hates my guts. Probably. Okay, she definitely hates me. Sorry, sis. The truth hurts, but it'll set you free. Uh, Jala, remember when I said coming back here was a mistake? Is it a good time to say I told you so? What? Already? I hope you're ready for some long-delayed emotional catharsis, because your third-grade boyfriend just walked in the door. Sergio? You look surprised to see me, Jala. Or are you just admiring the view? You look ready for a Bollywood close-up, and I feel like an extra in a bad horror movie. Way to make a girl feel inadequate. What? No, no, you look gorgeous, as always. One of these days, we really have to talk about your susceptibility to cheap flattery. So, it's been a while. Three years, two months, and 14 days. <clears throat> um, <laughs> did I just say that out loud? I take everything back. This is the most fun I've had in months. Sergio's had it bad for Jala since Mrs. Garcia made them project partners in third grade. His crush survived the geography club after school incident, puberty, and Jala's extremely public on-again, off-again romance with Tyler all through high school. His thirst is kind of pathetic, but you can't deny he has stamina. <clears throat> anyway, how's Jennifer? Oh, her? We broke up a while ago. Yeah. If six hours counts as a while. You're single. <laughs> Seriously. Would you believe I am too?
Come on, Sergio. Let's dance. Did I mention I spent a year abroad? I learned a lot of new moves in Milan. Trying to distract me with your chest hair is definitely cheating. What do I have to lose? Your dignity. Oh, wait. Just remember, Jala, there are no winners in a psychodrama battle with your third grade boyfriend. Only losers. Just kidding. You could both win the prize of friendship and emotional maturity. How does that sound? I'd prefer cake. And that's exactly why we're working on your emotional maturity. I always get what I want. Just ask my mom. I still think about our first kiss. You remember? On the trip to the Seattle Aquarium in third grade, it was so magical. Our lips touching, bathed in the blue-green light of the tank, surrounded by moon jellies. Is one kiss more magical than another? They're all special in their own way. How many people were you kissing in third grade? As many as I wanted to. <laughs> of course, I'm, I'm not mad. It would be weird if I'm mad about that. You've never let that stop you before. I told you, I've been making all kinds of gains. Ugh, you are seriously overestimating your appeal. Third grade was pretty traumatic for me, you know? My parents got divorced, my dad left town. And never really looked back. His mom spoiled him rotten to make up for it, which didn't work, obviously. You're the only good thing I can remember from that time. We shared something special, Jala. And deep down, I know you feel the same way too. And I'm not gonna let you ruin it. My dad says I should seize every opportunity. I'm not letting this one go. My mom says she sees girls look at me everywhere I go. But you're the only one I have eyes for. Then maybe you need to get your eyes checked. Hey, Jala, have you noticed Sergio's really thirsty for you? You should try using that to your advantage. Try using a thirst taunt on Sergio. You know, I'm having more fun than I expected. When are you gonna grow up and be your own person? Now you've put Sergio in a thirsty mood, follow up with a thirst skill for extra damage. Why do mediocre dudes think they deserve the world? Because we run it? Oh, yeah. Guess what, Jala? I've been training with your Auntie Chandra. Auntie Chandra would never let you skip leg day. Bulky legs would ruin the fall of my pants. I'm going for a more elegant silhouette. I'm not losing to a guy wearing formal shoes to a diner. They're Italian leather. I bought them on my year abroad. You're even more terrifying than my mom. And she's the most awesome woman I know. Can you blame me for being into that? You really care what your parents think, huh? And you don't? Your dad's been giving me mustache grooming tips. Is it paying off? It's every girl's dream to date a man who takes grooming tips from her father. Right? I thought you'd like it. My 
uncle moves better than you. And he's had two hip replacements. You can't deny- Think about it. You and me. We could run this whole town. Or at the very least, my dad's car dealership empire. Maybe you want to live in your daddy's shadow your whole life. But all I want is to get away from everyone's expectations. Okay, fair enough. I'll support you. You can do anything you want with me by your side. Do you really want to take over your dad's business? I want him to be proud of me. He thinks I'm shallow, that I won't amount to anything. Everyone does. Who cares what your dad thinks? Your mom thinks the sun shines out of your butt. And she's the one who actually stuck around. See? That's exactly what I need in my life, Jala. Someone to tell me the truth. Even when I don't want to hear it, I can't let you go again. I've been waiting a long time to get a few things off my chest. I love you, Jala. I have loved you since our hands met reaching for the same tub of lime green Play-Doh in third grade. Love me? This is the longest conversation we've had in over a decade. Yeah? And whose fault is that? Uh, yours, because you're so catastrophically weird when we do talk. This thing between us, it's real, Jala, and I'm gonna prove it to you. What the hell? I can't make a dent. This is Sergio's inner world. In here, he's the person he desperately wishes he could be out there. Cool, smooth, invulnerable to attack. Impeccably waxed. Focus. If you want to get anywhere, you have to shatter that invulnerability by summoning a terrifying psychological specter. Like most South Asian men, all it takes to destroy Sergio's ego is a single word from his mom. But since we can't bring her into this, we have to summon the next best thing, our mom. your mom into this you started it I guess it's a good sign you want me to meet your parents with all the toxic masculinity Sergio's got going on I kind of suspect he'd be really easy to put into a rage try it Follow up with a rage skill. Do you like the fact that I stick around even when you insult me? Nobody turns me down, Jala! N not anymore! I'm a new man now! You think those muscles and bravado are fooling anyone? I see right through you. You're the same insecure little boy in a bigger package. Leave grade school behind, Sergio. Do you get off on emasculating me, Jala? I bet this is all a game to you. It's not to me. Guys, 
like you are all talk. You're bound to be a letdown. Only one way to find out. I don't even care if you win. In fact, I kind of want you to crush me. Kind of makes sense you'd have a thing for humiliation. It explains your dumb mustache. Now you're just doing it deliberately. Not cool. Uh, I'm starting to feel a little woozy. I'm kind of busy right now. Hey, genius, if you go down, I go down too. So you better do something about it. Sorry I came on so strong, Jala. I've had this fantasy of you in my head for so long. It's time I got to know the real you. I'm ready to move on if you are. I'm glad we figured that out. Cuz I kind of need a favor. Okay, we're all here. What's the emergency? Jal is back! So? So, we're all Jala's exes. I thought everyone would want to know. She's in Timberhills. And she's not with Jennifer anymore. Hmm, who could have seen that coming? It's been three years, Tyler. She's different. Uh-huh. Did you confess your love, or did you throw up before you got the words out? Uh... I did. Confess, I mean. Not throw up. Sorry, Tyler. I know you two have your whole big doomed romance thing. Had. There's a crater where we used to be. It's extinct. I'm over her. Yeah, right. There's nothing you want to say to her? No answers you need? Nothing she can say will change what happened. So what's the point? Maybe nothing. Maybe closure. Or who knows? Maybe you can even be friends again. <laughs> oh, wait, you're joking, right? The rest of you can do whatever the hell you like, but trust me on this. The last thing I want is to be Jala Jairatna's friend. 